All right, Nasser al-Hariri is the president of the National Coalition of Syrian Revolution and Opposition Forces. He joins us now from Istanbul. Uh, Nasser, good to have you here on the news hour. You know, coming into this pandemic, uh, when we saw the majority of some of the world's most uh, wealthiest countries' healthcare systems being brought, being brought to their knees because of this um, uh, pandemic, there was a real concern, a, a potential nightmare scenario being sort of thrown out there in terms of, you know, what happens when this pandemic gains a foothold in poorer countries, in countries that have been torn apart by war. Syria, your country, one of those countries that fits the description. What's the situation like there? Uh, hello, uh, it's very nice to be with you. Today, the situation is very difficult as we have been in a state of war for more than 10 years. Uh, and as you know, the Assad regime and Russia have directly targeted hospitals and medical centers and healthcare units. Uh, these are war crimes and crimes against uh, humanity. Uh, Syria has lost thousands of its medical personnel. Its medical infrastructures have been also destroyed. And it is now facing the virus without any resources or infrastructures, which means that we are facing a serious disaster. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, chaos, uh, corruption, and economic collapse in regimes, uh, uh, regime areas have caused similar results. And the number of deaths and injuries are large, but we don't have accurate figures due to the regime's uh, policies in that region. Um, OK. Uh, many countries around the world, um, as we speak, are experiencing uh, a spike in cases, a spike, a rising uh, trend in deaths and hospitalizations. The situation in Syria uh, it, it should not be any different. I mean, if the virus uh, trend, if the trend continues in terms of the virus spreading, especially in the northwestern uh, region or province of Idlib, uh, do you think that this is um, perhaps a growing concern that the Assad regime uh, and its partners like Russia could use this as leverage against uh, the international community, mostly Turkey? Uh, sure, as you know, Russia and uh, the regime are using every possible means to pressure the Syrian people and their allies. Uh, and uh, from uh, this regard, we warn of dangerous scenarios from this aspect. Uh, winter hits Syria, and the epidemic escalating Syrian lives uh, are of no value to the Assad regime. And there is a lot of evidence about uh, diverting international aid to prevent it from reaching the Syrian people, even in regime control areas. The regime uh, links aid to institutions affiliated with its security apparatus, and thus turns into a means of financing those agencies and their crimes against Syria and Syrians. All parties uh, 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 laws as long as this regime is in place and in control and in uh, power. Uh, the risks, risks to Europe and Turkey from Assad remaining in power will exceed the, the risks of the epidemic uh, itself. Okay. Um, I, finally, I want to ask you, so when you look at the situation, you talked about Syria's internal conflict uh, being a decade old, but since March, we've seen uh, fairly little change in the situation in, in Syria. Do you think it's primarily because uh, of uh, the coronavirus pandemic? Uh, again, I didn't understand the question, please. I, I'm saying since March, we've seen sort of little change in the situation within Syria's uh, civil conflict. Uh, basically, uh, the advance of Assad's uh, forces have pretty much been stopped. Uh, do you think the reason behind that could be the coronavirus pandemic and the country struggling no. with this? No, the, 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 the cause behind that is the Assad regime itself. As you know, the Assad regime, Russia and Iran, are continuing to bombard, destroy, and displace liberated areas. Uh, but uh, and, uh, the, their military campaign and operations are continuous 
especially in northeast of Syria, despite the, agree the agreement between Russia and Turkey in the beginning of this year about the escalation zone in the area, because the Syria regime and its allies are still counting on the military strategy as the only way to get complete victory against the, the, the Syrian people. So, in addition to the danger of the Syria regime itself, we are facing, uh, in addition to that, we are facing coronavirus and the uh, financial uh, deteriorating in this area, in addition to the uh, winter and it is difficulties. Nasser Al-Hariri, thank you for your time. I do appreciate your analysis here on the News Hour.